I was devastated to hear about Fina's new update, and I honestly started tearing up. It is a major victory. This was a, a level of excitement that I haven't seen in a long time. It's the stunning decision sending shockwaves throughout the world of swimming and beyond, adding fuel to an already fiery debate over trans inclusion and swimmer Leah Thomas. Do you think this was a warning shot to all trans athletes across sports? It's the most extreme policy that I've read um, to date. I think it, it, it builds upon the discrimination that we're seeing, uh, specifically on trans people. After consulting with scientists and policymakers, FINA, the swimming world's governing body, voting to effectively ban transgender athletes from competing in women's events. We have to protect the rights of all our athletes to compete, but we also have to protect competitive fairness at our events, especially women's competition. Women's rights, you know, definitely should include trans women as well. This is not about hate. This is about trying to find a solution that is fair for all. The new policy, which takes effect today, only allowing athletes who've transitioned before the age of 12 to take part in any of the elite international swimming competitions. Basically, the issue is this. If a person has gone through male puberty and then transition and are transgender female athletes, they cannot compete at the Olympic Games in swimming. I truly believe that Leah and her decision to swim has triggered this entire situation. Thomas wins the NCAA championship. The decision will impact Leah Thomas, whose record-breaking season in the women's field set off a firestorm of international controversy. She made history earlier this year as the first transgender athlete to win a Division I NCAA national championship. I spoke with Leah last month in her only television interview. Trans women competing in women's sports does not threaten women's sports as a whole. Why? Because trans women are a very small minority of all athletes, and we haven't seen any massive uh, wave of trans women dominating. Leah has excelled in her sport, setting Ivy League records and swimming the season's best times in the 200 and 500 yard freestyles and rising significantly in the women's rankings versus her performance in the men's field. Are there Olympics in your future? I intend to keep swimming. It's been uh, a goal of mine to, to swim at Olympic trials for, for a very long time. And I would love to see that through. But Sunday's policy change has now dashed those dreams. Leo responding to the decision, telling ABC News in a statement, the new FINA release is deeply upsetting. It is discriminatory and will only serve to harm all women. Natalie Fahey was one of the first openly trans women to compete in the NCAA, but her races were far less controversial than Leah's. After I transitioned, I was solidly a middle ground swimmer. I didn't, you know, come in and, and break any records. I only competed at uh, conference, but certainly just the fact that I'm not as good as Leah is weighs into that. Natalie says being able to swim as a woman played a crucial role. I've had a history of thoughts of self-harm. Thank thankfully, I'm, I'm past that. Swimming saved my life. Having a ruling like this at, at FEMA at the highest level of swimming is definitely going to have ripple effects on the lower levels. I definitely think there will be serious mental health repercussions for trans uh, teens and, and younger people all throughout the country and the world. Included in FINA's new gender inclusion policy, the creation of an open competition category where athletes would be able to compete without regard to their sex, their legal gender, or their gender identity. In addition to not allowing the full athletic experience, that's incredibly othering to, to trans people who already face immense discrimination in, in other parts of our lives, to then again, have this discrimination in sports and be like, oh, okay, you can swim, but only over there, like in that lane. There are some who look at the data and suggest that you're enjoying a competitive advantage. There's a lot of factors that go into a race and how, how well you do. And the biggest change for me is that I'm happy again. And sophomore year, um, where I had my best times competing with the men, 
I was miserable. Critics would say, oh, you transitioned in order to be successful. Trans people don't transition for athletics. We transition to be happy and authentic and our true selves. Trans women are women, but there are a few places where biology really matters. And women's sports is one of them. Three-time Olympic gold medalist, Nancy Hogshead Maycar is also the founder of Champion Women, a nonprofit organization that advocates for gender equality in sports for women and girls. What does an open category look like in your view? You can only ask that question after you have done step one, which is to make sure that the girls and women's category is specifically reserved for females. Trans women argue they are women and that their rights need to be protected as well. I think in real life, absolutely, 100% equality, 100% inclusion in every way, but sports is divided by categories, and the biggest category is the sex category. Tennis legend Martina Navratilova is part of the Women's Sports Policy Working Group. The organization aims to influence rules on women's sports, specifically how or if to include trans women. What opportunities do you think Leah Thomas's victories take away from cisgender women? The ones that would have been on the podium if Leah was not racing, the ones that would have gone to the national championships if Leah was not on the team. You don't have to dominate, you have to win to take away spots, to take away uh, scholarships, etc. Dr. Michael Joyner has been looking at fairness in sports by studying the differences between the sexes. We spoke to him last month. Dr. Joyner says the legacy effect of testosterone, which is higher in males than females, can be lasting. What are the physical aspects that trans women may not be able to roll back with hormone uh, therapy? I, I, obviously, issues related to body size, airway size, hand size, foot size, perhaps bone density, and so forth. But, but I think the main thing is the, just the interactions of exercise training and skeletal muscle. Are you saying that years of hormone therapy cannot put trans women in place to compete with cisgender women? I think that evidence so far would suggest that a period of a year, two years, three years, four years is probably insufficient. We also talked with Joanna Harper in May, who'd advised some of the world's leading sports bodies on policies for trans athletes, including the International Olympic Committee. I think the integration of trans women into elite sports um, is justified with certain restrictions. I've heard some people trying to look for a middle ground, say we create a third category. Trans people are 1% of the population. And so you can't have a trans category and have any meaningful competition for the people in the trans category if they only get to compete against trans people. Wait, oh. Tell me to give you a big hug from <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. Leah's friend and former swimmer Skylar Baylor was the first openly transgender swimmer in NCAA Division I competition and the first trans man to compete in any NCAA Division I sport. This police is all women because you have to know which girls are trans in order to exclude them. And when you do that, you enforce the policing of all women's bodies. Skyler argues that the policy will have a lasting, devastating impact on trans youth that reaches far beyond sports. Most people play sports for fun, to learn cooperation, to have a team, to have peer mentorship. I think that people totally miss that. Only 2% of high school athletes will go to compete in the NCAA, and only about 2 or 1% of those will compete in the Olympics. Transgender athletes like Leah insist that being true to themselves should not come at a cost. Do you think it should come down to a choice between your sport or your gender identity? No, I, I don't want other trans people to have to, to face that, that choice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.